Hello everybody, this is Miss E. This video is just so that you have an additional reference as far as setting up your site definitions in Dreamweaver. This is something, again, I'm going to continually emphasize to all of you as far as there really, this isn't an optional thing. Whenever you are working in Dreamweaver, you want to start out by definitely having some form of site definition set up. For those of you that are working within the lab environment and sticking to the lab environment, yes, this means every time you log in, every time you sit down, there is probably a possibility, especially if you are working on a different machine, you are going to need to go and recreate the site definition. Now, to begin here, I'm going to start out and just remind folks as far as creating that local uh, reference for your site definition. If you have not done so already, I am going to be actually working from my external drive here. Again, this is required for your classes. I would strongly encourage you to go ahead, make sure you have a folder, and for this example, I am going to use MMC 150. Avoid spacing in any names of your files and folders. Now within the MMC 150 folder, I am going to go ahead here, I'm gonna make a new folder. With the site definitions, you will want to create independent folders for each of your websites. So to demonstrate to you, I may have website one, let's go ahead, you know, and then maybe we have another assignment, you do website two. So MMC 150 is the main folder, but within that folder, you are going to have multiple sites that you are going to then have multiple site definitions in Dreamweaver. I'm going to leave these two here just to use them for demonstration's sake. You will probably want to do something as far as naming them a little bit more descriptively. I'm going to go ahead now. I had already opened Dreamweaver, so I'm going to pop into my home copy of Dreamweaver here. Now, before you even begin working in Dreamweaver, you always, always set up a site definition. If you do not, this can lead to broken local links that whenever you try to upload or FTP onto a server, this could break your entire site. So before I begin working, I'm gonna go ahead and up on the main menu bar, I am going to generate a brand new site definition. Now, you're gonna get very comfortable with this window here. The site name, this is actually what will be displayed over on this files panel here for this name right here. As you can see, I actually already have something called MMC 150 for the class. Technically, this site name can be whatever you want. If you wanted to call it banana split, but it's all about cat litter, you can do that. I'm going to call this, though, MMC demonstration. Now, you also have the local site folder. This is actually what we just created over here in your Explorer on your external drive. You are going to want to point to one of these uh, local websites here, web folders. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit my little folder there and we're gonna do a browse and I'm gonna come on down to my passport. I'm going to go into my class folder and I am going to select the folder. It's okay if nothing is in here. You will be generating and creating the files in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to select my folder and notice how this is all changed now. For this demo, I'm not going to worry about the Git repository. We will get to that, but just for this video, I'm more concerned about students understanding setting up the local site here. I'm going to go ahead and do a save. Dreamweaver is going to refresh a second, but now you should see over in your files panel that site name that you set up should now be appearing where the folder is. And notice here it should say local files, but also notice your local address here. This should be pointing in my case to my external drive, to my class folder, and the example website. Just a note if you are working from home, you click on the drop down here for the local, 
notice I actually have several local websites already set up here, organizing them by either content or classes. If you need to, if you need to either change maybe the location or anything like that, you can come here and do manage sites. Or if you want to, you can come up, go ahead and cancel out of that. Under site, you can also manage sites here as well. This will bring up a little different window here that you can double click. You could now edit and add in the Git repository, or if you needed to, if you were FTPing, you could also add in your server destination as well. Again, this should be done every single time. You've got to check to make sure you have a site definition set up in Dreamweaver. It will make life difficult if you are not doing that and your websites and your JavaScript will break. So that concludes this video. I wanted folks to also have a video that you can reference 24 seven as far as creating that site definition. And again, if you have any questions on this, feel free to email me.